All right, welcome back. So we're going to look at tracks view, the main page, and and to some extent screen control. It's really hard to actually uh, specifically address one thing without something else being like interrelated uh, on the MPC. And then uh, before I get started, I do want to announce I finally have an actual web store. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Uh, I remember talking to A.E. Ski about it uh, a while back. And uh, I remember that conversation and just about the kind of the hard work that you have to put into and on his videos. Um, and I got a, a video review of his drums coming, which I bought uh, when they were announced a few weeks ago. And that's going to be coming out coming soon as well. But I had been just so busy uh, compiling the website and building the whole back end. It's, it's just a, a heck of an experience. One I probably wouldn't want to do again. But likewise, here we go. Uh, so we're going to look at, uh, this first page and I'm going to sort of show you how it actually works. This is not to judge it, whether it's good or bad. This is just how it works. So when you're choosing sounds and setting up your tracks in the main page, um, cause this is where most people live. At least I do. Uh, you, so for the sake of, uh, this video, I've got a bunch of sounds preloaded from the expansion library uh, that I have. And so what you're going to look at is I got some drum sounds in here. Okay. Now when I'm on this track, which is track E, for example, or five, I can only see drum sounds. In other words, I can't get to a key group instrument or a plug-in or whatever that might be until I tell the main page what I want to plug in or what instrument I want. In other words, I gotta tell what category of instrument or source is coming from. So when you so if you're new to the MPC, think of these six different source categories as the pre-fader of, of a of the actual input jack of a mixer. So you have to tell it what you want to plug into this track. So now if I have a these are my key groups. So now you can see I've got everything but percussion in here. Okay. So, and I can go from guitars. Okay, I haven't warmed up today. Not hands are real rusty probably because I've been building the website I mean it just I had nothing I had no time to do anything but that and so I miss making music believe me all right so I can get to here but until I want to change another instrument let's say I wanted the drum drum sound again I have to go back to here now the typical issue is is when you go from from one page to another uh, visually you can't some of that functionality that you use for creating uh, typically goes away. So if I go to here, I lost all that. I don't have it anymore, right? All I'm in, all I'm in is the editor, right? So visually, I can't see the stuff that I need might need to adjust here and there as I'm as I'm working on a project. So when it comes to actual track loading and tracking per se and and sound assignment, this tracks view which there's no dedicated button for. So what I usually do is I like to, to get to it from the slide out menu right here. So if I'm editing something and I need to get back to tracks, instead of going from here, then to here, right? I just do this, right? Because my hand is already over there. So I just go into here. Voila, I'm in there, all right? Let me turn this back to zero. I think I just changed the parameter on accident. So again, and I'm here. Now, here's where screen control uh, really makes a difference. So for now, I'm just going to take these out to sort of show you. So let's start from, we'll start from sort of vanilla. I've got tracks and I've got nothing loaded on them. So uh, let's go. Let's go to track A right now. Notice I've got 
the typical things. So here's my key group instruments. <laughs> All right, but if I want to go to a drum sound, look. Okay, you see I didn't have to go back and change the source. It automatically changes in the background. And that's where this seems to really shine. But then... How do you get to all the things that we just talked about on the main page? That's where screen control comes in. So if you're contemplating, uh, now most people I know have multiple MPCs, at least two, if not more. Um, but if you're contemplating on what might work best in certain scenarios, and let's say you're in the studio a lot like I am, the MPCX is a fantastic choice uh, for that reason because this you get the full implementation of screen control remember you got the visual QLED links and then you got the full set of knobs that can control every single parameter and what's cool about the tracks parameter is that the per tracks mode which is up here is that everything that you see with the exception of these six buttons can be not only controlled but visually monitored from these Q links so even the MPC one and the and the live and the keys models uh and, and the studio they don't have the monitoring capabilities you have to rely on a on a screen that comes out and that actually in my experience kind of gets in the way that's just my personal uh experience with it and so i always you know come back to the mpc x when i'm really uh doing some work especially sampling and stuff so this so for example um, you may, uh, on your live, go and change your bars right here, two, three, four. Well, you can do that right from here, right? Three, four. Okay. Or you might want to just go, you, you might have a two bar phrase and you just want to loop between the second bar. So it's the second bar on to the third, right? Well, the good news is that Screen control will allow you to have that same functionality, but being in this page all the time. All right. So, for example, I can see on these Q links that I'm going to go from one to two, or I can see I got four bars right here, or three bars, six bars. Now I'm back to, to one. I can adjust the tempo. Right here, and I can see what the tempo is. Of course, you can always use the tap tempo on your and and do that, but just by and large, the screen control takes care of that. The bonus is is when I go from sound to sound. So let's go to um um we'll do glass guitar, and I'm gonna just gonna create uh an impromptu stack. So I'm gonna cursor down and find myself the uh, another guitar sound right here through the menu which is right here and now I've got a nice guitar stack so so my playing is real rusty right now um, I've not warmed up, so, but, and I, as you can see, I can go into the tracks, and I can, you know, I have to play it right away, I can assign sounds, uh, without even changing the track, so, let's go down, okay, and we'll go, uh, put a drum sound, for example, play that. That was just horrible.
Sorry about that. Like I said, it's like super, super rusty. But but as I go down here, um, you know, I can change my tracks. Of course, you can do it from the window here. But, you know, you get custom to a certain workflow, physical workflow. And that becomes a, a, a almost like an investment into your own production workflow. So if I have this uh, and this, I just created a, a nice little stack with two different lead sounds that quick. All right. And it, so this is one other option that you have, uh, especially, especially if you're using an MPCX to be and live in this mode. And by the way, and I've shown this before, you pull this little screen out, and this allows you to get the tracks view a lot quicker. So, like, if I'm in an edit, like, I'm in the program edit right now. Okay. Now, if I want to get back to the tracks mode, you there's no dedicated button yet for that. So, typically, I would have to go to the main page and then hit tracks. Excuse me, and hit tracks. But now... You just slide that out, tracks, and you're good. And you can kind of place that. This will be the last thing I show. By hitting shift, you hit the main button. Hit shift. They all light up, and you can move this around. Now, grid, you can't get rid of. It's always going to be in there. But let's say uh, you wanted to go uh, to next sequence, for example. So the MPC keys, 37 does not have a next sequence button, for example, that I know of. Um, so you can put the next sequence right here, and then you can slide it out no matter what page you're on. Bang. Now, that button's that this has got a dedicated next sequence button, but the MPCX does. But like like I said, you can get to this just like that, and then you're, then you're in. So hopefully this information, again... And then uh, drop by my uh, website. I'll leave um, the URL uh, below and come visit it. And I uh, welcome any questions or comments on that. Uh, there's a direct link, uh, info link, where you can just email uh, the website. And I'll, I'll be glad to respond. Um, and so until next time, peace out.